So this is an old motherboard that I had. I don't know if you guys remember, but the first like used PC vlog I ever did, I had like a $40 PC and this was the motherboard that was broken. But ironically, when I just did this PC, it's the exact same motherboard. So one thing that I didn't test till this date was if the BIOS was faulty. So I'm gonna quickly pull that BIOS off, put it on this motherboard and see if the motherboard still works. Okay, so we've booted this thing up now. Hopefully we can get out a signal and hopefully it works. Nope, it's just cycling the power. Okay, so we just got this computer tested out and it just didn't give out a signal. So pretty much motherboard's busted. So I'm gonna put that BIOS chip back in here. And yeah, I hope you guys saw, like, look at this. I mean, I'll switch on the power supply too. And you can see the lights on now. And look at this, if I switch it off, this is something important, if, especially if you're gonna clean up power supplies, this is how you discharge them. Turn it off first. And before you unplug anything, let that light come out. Like, let it just die down because then it's still juicing the power from the power supply. So, you see it's still on. Like, I've turned it off and that light is still going. <laughs> so, you can see how much some of these power supplies, like how much power they still store even after you switch them off at the, at the wall. So, always wait until, if it's got a light on it, that's a really good thing because it'll tell you when it's drained all the power from the power supply completely. So. And it's still going. It's pretty crazy. There it goes, it just died down. So that was like, I don't know, maybe a good 20, 30 seconds. But let's get on to the next part of this vlog. Yeah. Welcome back to Tech City. This is Brian coming to you guys today with the vlog. Just stuff that's got to get done around here. Also answering some comments in the questions and showing you guys some things. Sort of like a little off vlog as you saw in the intro where I sort of tested that out and that BIOS didn't work. But also another thing is I just sold the computer here, that one that I built on the channel recently. That's gone. And we're going to get onto something else here because I got given a 7970. So I got given this for, me for free. So don't worry, if I use this in a build, I'm not going to be <laughs> saying it was free because this is a bit ridiculous to get given a uh, 7970 for free. So we're gonna test this out, see if it actually works. But another thing on that note with the DDR2 memory, uh, I got that for free because um, I pulled it out of like servers that were going in the tip. And you know, there was four of them and then I was surprised because they, usually they have a uh, registered memory in there. But when I pulled it out, one had like a Q9550 and then another CPU, which was really bad, but they all had a uh, consumer memory. I'm just looking for the other memory that I had. I think it was this stuff here. So I pulled out the HyperX memory and I also got this stuff as well. So this was the XMS uh, DDR2 memory from Corsair. So that's another eight gigabyte kit which means that I can do kind of like another overclockable LGA 771-775 hybrid when I find another LGA 775 motherboard. So that'll be cool when that hits the channel, but let's test out this graphics card, see if it works. All right, so we've got this bad boy in here now. Let's see if it works. See if we can actually get a signal out on this uh, Dual X 7970 that needs two eight pin connectors. So yeah, if I do put this in a build, I will price this up because it's ridiculous to get a free 7970. That doesn't happen. But uh, with the DDR2 memory, that isn't ridiculous. Like there are people chucking out old hardware just left, right and center because they couldn't be bothered. Um, you know, they couldn't be bothered uh, selling it. It's just not worth their time to even sell that stuff. So they just chuck it out and there can be really good parts in those old uh, servers or even just old computers so we're also later on we'll go down the tip as well and check out if they've got any PCs there because I actually need some old cases to do some old builds that I got coming for the channel like maybe a $50 PC or something um, <laughs> this graphics card though it looks busted man that's straight up that's why it's free uh, so there we go free graphics card and it doesn't work at all I am going to take off the cooler though see if it is a reapplied thermal paste that's hitting the conductors but i mean the computer's working but the yeah there's just absolutely no signal coming out of this thing so so we just pulled this graphics card apart and now i don't know if you guys heard but when i plugged it up into the computer 
It was actually recognizing everything, but we weren't getting a signal out of the ports. And I've had this happen in the past. So basically what happens if sometimes if you run, say you're running a five meter cable here, five meter cable here, then you run a, a third five meter cable, it can just put too much of a strain on the outputs and then you can actually blow out the outputs of the card, even though the graphics card is still perfectly intact. So what we're gonna do is we're going to try just clean up this graphics card first, clean up the paste and all that too. Uh, also change the BIOS since it's got a dual BIOS there, we'll try a different BIOS and then try that HDMI uh, port over like a one meter cable or something and then see if it works. If it doesn't work after that, I will then finally try just a hairdryer over this section here on very hot temperature. See if that can bring it back to life. If not, the card's pretty much done as I'm really uh, not that, like I've, I'm really bad at soldering. So <laughs> soldering on a new part here would just be literally impossible for me. So the latest uh, method for me cleaning up these parts is to just use a damp sponge and then followed by a hairdryer on just like medium to light temperature. And then, uh, cause this stuff here in Australia is like eight bucks a bottle, which in Japan, the parts cleaner was like a dollar a bottle and the cheapest brake cleaner is like $9 a bottle. So I'm gonna, I'm started using this method cause it's a lot cheaper. So we're just gonna clean up this graphics card. Let's do it. So now we've hooked up the graphics card one more time and I've got the 750 Ti under that just to give out a signal in Windows. And we can see there that the display adapters, the 7970 is just not coming up at all. So it wasn't actually the outputs, it was actually just the GPU was busted in general. Those noises that came out on camera before, yeah, just like that one, must have just been like that stuff. <laughs> and actually not the graphics card, so I made a mistake there. But yeah, this graphics card, basically what we can do with this is just pull off the cooler and all the heat sinks and then yeah, bin the PCB because that's pretty much useless. Look at Jar Jar, he's happy AF now, he's got a new coaster. So I know you guys like the junk or funk, that was junk, but let's get on to something that's funk. This motherboard here, we're going to put this together. So we're going to grab this and we're going to get a 7850 and a Core 2 Duo and uh, I got six gigabytes of RAM here. So we're gonna start piecing together a build for maybe like a $50 PC or something because uh, one of my friends just gave me, he had said he had an old case lying around his house. So I was like, okay, I'll take that. You know, so we've got that for nothing. There's also some other stuff there like um, cable management and stuff. But we're gonna start putting together a PC and we've got here a cooler that I picked up in Japan for five bucks. Now, a lot of people are asking me about the used parts, like how do you get the deals so cheap? And I'm gonna make a whole video dedicated to used PC part hunting and what I do to get deals. But just as an example, that's the travel PC down there. You know, that cooler, that Sith cooler, for example, I picked that up for five bucks and that was ages ago. I didn't know what I was gonna do with that cooler. I just picked it up because it was five bucks. So the biggest piece of advice I can give you guys without going into a whole new video is just broaden the horizon. When you see deals, you pick them up because you never know when you're gonna be able to use that deal in the future and make an awesome build. But anyway, this PC is going to be something special. It'll hopefully be around 50 bucks, but we're gonna to head to the tip now and see what stuff we can pick up from there. So here it is guys, here's the new Tech City Mobile. I actually picked this up for about 4,000 AUD, which would be like 3,000 UST. Now it came with a six months rego, and of course I bargained the guy down like 500 bucks. Now with cars, I've been a massive fan of cars since I've been a teenager, like, you know, like 16 years old. I've had like a, a 180SX, a Skyline, two RX-7 FDs, a Liberty, a Toyota Sora. And so yeah, I absolutely love cars. And this one, I just picked it up as a beater. And it's, yeah, it's a 1.8 liter turbo, I think. It's like the special edition. It's manual. It's just awesome car to drive, so. 
That's my car now, but a lot of you guys have been asking about my brother's Evo. So we're gonna take a quick look at that now. Look at that key ring, oh yeah. So here it is guys, this is my brother's Evo 7. A lot of you have been asking about this car. It's a legit 11 second car, no bull. It's modded to the hilt, so we'll go over some mods of this thing. But ironically, my brother's actually selling this thing at the moment for about 25 Gs. Uh, Australian so if anyone's keen on this thing uh, I'll put a link in the description below for it but it's absolute beast so taking a look under the hood here this thing's got a HKS GT 3037S turbo it's absolutely massive it's also got a HKS Kansai style cold air box with a Apexi uh, pod filter installed in there also 272 Cosworth cams 880cc precision injectors and then let's move on to the inside over there's the Apexi power of C with the hand controller that's tuning the whole engine uh, with a custom tune you've also got the Apexi uh, boost controller there the AVCR and then on the rims here we've got a uh, rotor grid 18s with Brembo brakes all around there's also carbon fiber and extensions which make the car look so clean Well, they do have some computers here, but I couldn't, or well, I'm actually not allowed to take them nowadays, so it's been crazy. I haven't been back here for a while, so looks like there's three computers in there that I could take if they still giving them away, but apparently they don't let you do that anymore, so let's get out of here. So I just got home now and that place was technically good except they just wouldn't allow me to take any of the stuff which was kind of a shame. So there are a few other places on the Gold Coast here which I'm going to actually check out in the next coming days and see if they'll allow me to take some of those PCs because I actually needed some SATA cables to splice into two of the power supplies that I have here because they don't have SATA cables on them. And another power supply, I've still got to fix that as well, that just needs a new fan. I had a fan that was just broken. So I've got to fix up those three power supplies and then I'm going to do a $50 budget build or it should be around about that and that'll be hitting the channel pretty soon. Also we launched the uh, new tech lounge as well so I hope you guys have been enjoying that live show. There's going to be another series that I'm going to launch as well pretty soon so there's going to be a lot more content coming out because this is pretty much now my full-time job so <laughs> I've got to make it work. And on that note, I do have a patron page. So I'll put that in the link in the description below. If you guys want to even just support $1 a month or something, that'll just go in towards the channel, towards upgrades, and even towards maybe employing someone to do a bit of video work and get even more content out on the channel for you guys. Anyway, that's about it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comment section below what kind of content do you want to see more on the channel. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions as always, and I'll catch you in the next tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. That's my lunch, now that I've got no job. Okay, so we're looking at this motherboard, it just doesn't work. But I think this is the problem here where the actual BIOS goes in because when I was messing around with it last year, I just like literally like took the BIOS out, put it in so many different times and that these actual bottom two left pins here especially, they're just not making contact with the BIOS chip. So, because I was just getting no signal at all. I mean, I hope this motherboard works. I mean, this motherboard has a soul and it's talking to me. It's like, don't chuck me out, Brian. And you know, I don't want to chuck you out, baby. I want to keep you. This is the motherboard that began it all. All the used parts builds. This was the first part. It's like sentimental to me. One day, I'm going to get this thing working again. And it's going to be glorious. So I'm not chucking you out just yet.